dear students welcome to our next lecture series this is your lecture number 5 in lecture number 5 we are going to explain the details of earth and dams which is included in the fifth module of design of hydraulic structures within the topic earth and dam we are going to explain the types of earth and dams then the criteria for the safe design of an earth and dam then the different modes of failure of earth and dam these are the topics that we have to cover within the portion earth and dam this is an aerial view of karapura dam asia's one of largest earth and dam located at wayanad in our state if you closely observe the picture of karapura dam you can see that the most of the parts of the dam is constructed of the naturally available material see this is the portion where water is being stored so this is the upstream portion of the dam and this is the downstream portion of the dam you can see that over the dam a roadway is also provided for the movement of vehicle only at the portion of spillway you know that spillway is the portion where we required to take water outside only at the spillway portion the dam is constructed of concrete masonry and at all other part the dam is constructed of naturally available soil such kind of dams are called earthen dams so specifically earthen dams are those dams which are constructed using locally available material if you consider the previous two types of dams that we studied that is gravity dam and arch dam both gravity dam and arch dam is constructed of concrete material but here in the case of earthen dam the earthen dam is constructed of locally available material the locally available material may be sand gravel sometimes pebbles or the combination of all these but you have to understand only at the portion where we want to construct a spillway we are using concrete or any other any other masonry units for the provision of spillway in a gravity dam the reason is that if you are again constructing this particular spillway portion also using the earthen material you know that while taking water outside through a spillway the water is having high energy so due to this high energy there is a possibility of erosion of soil materials if we are using the soil materials over spillway that is why in earthen dams we are using concrete material at spillway and all other at remaining portions we are using the locally available materials that could be sand gravel pebbles or combination of this now the earthen dams are divided into two first one is rolled fill earthen dam and the second one is hydraulic fill earthen dams in rolled fill earthen dam the body of the dam that is called embankment is constructed with mechanically compacted layers means this each layer of the dam material that is soil is compacted by using 
mechanical any kind of mechanical equipments while the second case or, or the second type of earthen dam that is hydro hydraulic fill dam here the excavated material is transported and placed by hydraulic methods means there will not be any mechanically compacted layers in hydraulic fill dam while in case of rolled fill dam there will be mechanically compacted layers this is the difference between rolled fill dam and hydraulic fill dam these are the two types of earthen dams now let's discuss the different types of rolled fill dam so from the previous explanation it is very clear that in roll fill dam embankment embankment means it is the body of the dam it is constructed with mechanically compacted layers first type of roll fill dam is homogeneous embankment type from the term homogeneous itself it is very clear that it is composed of impervious or semi impervious type of material means same type of material is used for the construction of homogeneous embankment type of earthen dam and the type of material could be sand or gravel mixture it may be a combination of sand or sand gravel mixture it's a single kind of material but for the slope protection we may use another type of materials like rocks or small pebbles slope protection means if you take the embankment of a homogeneous earthen dam there will be an upstream face and the upstream face is placed at a particular slope see this is the upstream face where water is stored similarly there will be a downstream face the downstream face is also placed at a particular slope this is the top width of the embankment above the embankment there will be provision for movement of vehicles and human beings while considering the upstream and downstream slope of a homogeneous earthen dam you have to protect this upstream slope and downstream slope by some kind of rock masonry so for the slope protection you may be using rock masonry or any other kind of solid materials like pebbles now it is provided usually for low and moderate height dams homogeneous embankment type earthen dam is provided usually for low and moderate height dams the section of these kind of dams can be modified by providing filters at downstream side so that seepage can be controlled while studying the portion of earthen dam it is very important that you must have a close review on the topic seepage you know that seepage is the leakage of water through the body of the dam since earthen dams are completely constructed of earthen materials you know that there will be possibility of high amount of seepage through the body of the dam because the entire body of the dam is constructed of pervious materials like soil so during the process of seepage see this is the seepage line top of the seepage line top of the seepage line means below that there will be presence of water so 
the region below top of the seepage line or flow line is called saturated portion and the portion above the seepage line is called unsaturated portion so during the construction of an earthen dam it is very important to construct the drainage filters see these are the drainage filters drainage filters are materials that could attract the flow line towards the filters so that this seepage line is not extended till the downstream phase of the dam if the top flow line or the sea top seepage line is meeting the downstream side of an earthen dam it is an adverse condition during the design of earthen dam it is very important that you avoid the situation of meeting the seepage line at the downstream end of the earthen dam in order to prevent such condition we are providing drainage filters so that this seepage line is attracted towards the filter so coming back to again homogeneous embankment type sections are modified by providing filters now you know the importance of filters at downstream side so that seepage can be controlled the filter material can be any kind of geotextile uh, materials that could attract water also the filters keep the phreatic line phreatic line means it is the top flow line or top seepage line it is same as the phreatic line it keeps the phreatic line within the body of the dam means without reaching the downstream phase of the dam the upstream slope is flatter to adjust for sudden drawdown condition sudden drawdown condition means whenever water is needed at the downstream side for any other purpose like irrigation uh, there could be possibility of taking too much water through the spillway of the dam at that condition the upstream water level will suddenly fall down this falling down of water level is actually called drawdown condition so in order to adjust the sudden drawdown condition usually for homogeneous embankment type dam the upstream phase see this is the upstream phase where water is stored and the upstream phase is made flatter now let's move on to the second type of rolled fill dam that is sound embankment type in sound embankment type the dam is constructed of more than one material also the dam is provided with a central impervious core which was not there in the previous homogeneous dam of more pervious materials if you see the cross section of a sound embankment dam see this is the impervious core constructed and suitable drainage system is provided at the downstream portion of the central core this is the central core portion constructed within the dam and suitable drainage is provided using various kind of filters so that we can restrict the top seepage line within the core itself the top seepage line is not extended to the downstream side these kind of sound embankment type dams are used when there is high amount of seepage through the 
earthen dams third one is diaphragm embankment type it is actually a modified form of the homogeneous embankment type dam in this particular type thin diaphragm of impervious material is provided as a central core this impervious material could be cement or concrete structure this is the cross section of a diaphragm type embankment dam you can see the central core this is the diaphragm and this diaphragm or this central core is constructed of cement or concrete material the horizontal thickness of the diaphragm at any elevation should be less than 10 minute 10 meter or the height of the embankment means this horizontal thickness of the diaphragm should be less than 10 meter or the height of the embankment see this is the height of the embankment that is the specification for the construction of diaphragm or the central core in diaphragm type embankment earthen dam these are the three different types of rolled filled earthen dams now let's move on to the next topic that is criteria for safe design of earthen dams there are 13 different points for the safe design of earthen dams in exam point of view also this is very important all the details given in all these 13 points are already explained uh, in this topic you can read this topic this is taken from our reference uh, textbook bc punmia you can refer this portion in bc punmia textbook also i am not going to explain each of this point it is self explanatory you can understand starting from first point to 13 you please read with the aid of text so that you can understand easily let's move on to the next portion of earthen dams modes of failure of earthen dams basically there are three different types of failures hydraulic failure second one is seepage failure and the last one is structural failure and the different percentage of failure of earthen dam is also noted from this statistics it is very clear that 40 percentage of failure of earthen dams are due to hydraulic failures while the seepage failure is 30 percentage and structural failure is also 30 percentage now let's discuss each of the failure modes of earthen dams first to start with the hydraulic failures if you see the hydraulic failure the hydraulic failure is due to the surface erosion of the dam by the effect of water you know that erosion and seepage is one of the major concern as far as an earthen dam is considered because you know that earthen dams are constructed of locally available soil material so there will be the effect of erosion when it is in contact with water coming to the different types of hydraulic failures first one is overtopping overtopping is occurred when the flood exceed design flood for the spillway also overtopping may occur 
due to insufficient freeboard also this is a typical example of overtopping this is the full water level if the full water level is above the designed water level in an earthen dam there could be possibility of erosion of the top layer of the earthen dams and this erosion may finally leads to the failure of the earthen dam and it is called over topping moving to the next one that is verb erosion it is due to continuous action of verbs on the upstream side of the embankment you know that in earthen dam water is stored at the upstream side due to the effect of wind there could be possibility of verbs forming at the upstream side of the dam due to the action of verbs there could be see this dotted line is the initial upstream phase due to the action of well the soil from the upstream portion may erode and it get deposited at the lower portion of the upstream phase and this kind of failure is called verb erosion and the next one is gullying gullying is a kind of erosion of downstream side that is due to the effect of rain and the last one is tow erosion this is due to the presence of water at the tail tail means it is the downstream condition maybe if water is stored at the downstream phase of an earthen dam the soil at that downstream portion may get eroded off that kind of failure is called tow erosion now moving to the next kind of erosion sorry failure that is second one seepage failure and the seepage failure is due to the continuous seepage of water from upstream of embankment to downstream side it could be through the body of the dam and through the foundation of the dam also first one piping through the dam and foundation let's see a figure of piping see this is our earthen dam and water is stored at the upstream direction due to sea pace water will be coming at the downstream side below the foundation this is due to the sea pace below the foundation of the earthen dam and that kind of failure is called piping second one is conduit leakage conduit leakage is a condition when water seeps through the surface of conduit within the body of the dam let's see this picture this is an example for conduit leakage you can see that this is again our upstream condition from upstream water is seeping through the body of the dam and reaching the downstream phase of the dam this is also a kind of failure and that is called conduit leakage third one from seepage failure is sloughing of downstream phase this is due to the seepage of soil may get due to seepage the soil may get soft softened and slide on the downstream phase you can see this figure if there is a presence of water at the downstream side at that portion the soil may get softened and sloughing occurs these are the three different types of failures that coming under second one seepage failure 
now let's move to the last kind of modes of failure of earth and dam last one is structural failure structural failure is the failure of the structure of an earth and dam and the structural failure is due to the instability of dam and its foundation among the structural failures the different types are first one sliding due to weak foundation it could be due to the presence of any kind of faults in foundation that uh, that may not be able to withstand the force from embankment this is purely the failure of the foundation and the second one is sliding of upstream phase due to sudden drawdown actually the sudden drawdown condition was already explained in the previous uh, in the previous session and due to sudden drawdown when a reservoir is full with water level and it is suddenly emptied then pore water cannot be released properly pore water means it is the water content that present at the pores of the earth and dam due to this there could be sliding of upstream phase next one is sliding of downstream slope because that is being too steep if the downstream slope is too steep in relation to shear strength of the material it may collapse so you have to properly analyze the shear strength of the soil material used for the construction of the downstream phase of earthen dams next one is flow slides due to liquefaction liquefaction is a property of soil of losing its strength due to continuous action of stresses on the soil due to liquefaction the cohesionless soil cannot drain quickly then the rate of loading on the soil will be greater than the rate of drainage of seepage water due to the effect of this cohesionless soil cannot drain quickly the stress on soil become zero means the soil loses it its shear strength when soil loses its shear strength it may slide down or collapse that kind of failure is due to liquefaction and the next type of structural failures may be due to damage caused by burrowing animals or water soluble materials also the structural failure may be due to uh, embankment and foundation settlement also so these are the topics coming under earth and dams the major portion that you have to study in earth and dams are different types of earth and dams criteria for the safe design and different modes of failure of earth and dams in our upcoming lecture we are going to explain spillways and necessities of spillways different types of spillways thank you for your patient listening